to loops. Salute, 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 what's poppin'? What's good with you? Salute, salute, salute. First and foremost. First and foremost. I want to start off by saying, can we please have a moment of silence for my big bro? Big homie, shoe shine. I need a moment of silence right now, please. Thank you. That was for the homie. That was for the homie. That was for the homie. That moment of silence was for the homie. Shoot, shine. Today was a sad day. I took my wife to the movies and really couldn't even enjoy the movie. You know what I'm saying? My wife is out on a date with me. We trying to enjoy a date. Me with the social media shit. The phone ringing off the hook. Motherfuckers just let me know the homie passed away overnight. Not only did I have to deal with that, but I had to deal with everybody screaming and screaming, yo fruit, yo fruit, yo fruit, you gotta do, you gotta do a memories of shoot. Everybody, damn, everybody was screaming that, yo fruit, yo fruit, yo fruit, you gotta do the memories of shoot. Without question, I know I gotta do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm on that shit like a four-long blade. You know what I'm saying? I had to do that. Shit fucked me up. You know what I'm saying? Because the sad thing about it is, you know, with this YouTube shit, I came on the YouTube fucking with another nigga. You know what I'm saying? This wasn't my wave. This wasn't my style at all. I let another nigga convince me to come to YouTube with him. So I claim to YouTube and that's how I make sense last. You know what I'm saying? And in the midst of the LG story, shit was popping. Everybody was tuned in. I was tapping in with all the homies, making sure shit was right. Then I rolled the dice with my own podcast. And I was tapping in with the homies. And I slipped up. I got caught up in some buffoonery with this shit. Arguing with motherfuckers. Going back and forth. Doing dumb shit. And the homie shoot, rest in peace. Shooting dog was in my ass. They was in my ass like, yo nigga, what the fuck is you doing? Like, we don't do that. Ignore all that shit. Keep doing what you're doing. Just ignore all that shit. Fruit. Being big fruit. Nah, fuck that. Ah. So in the midst of me spazzing the fuck out and doing shit my way, I had to take a tongue lashing from motherfucking shoot and dog. 
Yeah, I took a tongue lashing from the big homie. They ain't like how I handle shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, and in the midst of me trying to, you know, admit my wrong and clean my shit up on YouTube. Shoe fell ill. He was hospitalized. He was hospitalized at the same time as my wife. So shit was crazy. You understand what I'm saying? I wasn't really tapped in. He still had his foot in my ass about that shit. Dog was still cursing me out. So I really didn't know what the fuck was going on. Plus I'm ripping and running with my wife. Making sure she good. Needless to say, I heard he came home from the hospital. I ain't even know that. I never knew he got out. You understand what I'm saying? It's how much I'm not fucking tapped in. I ain't even know he got out the hospital. He got out the hospital. Needless to say, here we are. A week or so later, the man passed away. And I feel fucked up because I never got the opportunity to say, to hit him and say, not only I'm sorry, but I ain't get the opportunity to say, yo, you was fucking right. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't get the opportunity to say that. But I will. I will. I will. And for any of the other homies out there, the comrades out there, who may feel like me, like, damn, son's in the hospital. I ain't go check on him. Or, or, or son came home from the hospital. I was hitting him, telling him I was going to get with him, but I ain't never get with him. Listen, man. If you feel like I feel, man, listen. If you know Shoe, man, he ain't mad at us. He know where our heart was at. He know where our heart was at. So... Any of the comrades out there, man, you ain't checked for him while he was in the hospital, or you ain't checked for him when he, when he got out of the hospital, we gonna see him again, you know what I'm saying, we gonna do what we gotta do, we gonna make sure we see him, and trust me, man, he ain't mad at nobody, he know what it is, she was a G from the feet up, straight jacket, he was a Brooklyn King, he was a bed style legend, and he was a god out in Marcy Projects. Now, my memories of Shushan. Wow. I remember being a kid, man. A young kid, too. I'm talking 84, 85. I'm 10, 11 years old. Little LG crew. We ripping and running with the little Notion Avenue crew. We doing the Marcy Pool thing. Cause this got to be 84 summer. 84, 85 summer. We doing the Marcy Pool thing. And I never forget. I told you how young we were. We was 10, 11 years old. I never forget. The teenagers came through. And these motherfuckers, they all 13, 14. 15, 16 years old. This is back when motherfuckers used to run around in the pool, grab broads, throw them in the water, all that shit. And it was cruel motherfuckers. They wasn't from Notion Avenue, they wasn't from LG because we were the new one. They was from Marcy. And I'll never forget. One dude stood out the most to me. Tears, peace, Andre Patterson, peace, Exam Marley, peace, Willie Will, salute, Uptown, salute, Anytime Television, peace. One dude stood out to me the most. It was this real short kid. Y'all need to smash that like button, man. It's 28 of y'all in here with eight likes, man. Y'all violating the homie shoe shine. Word. Y'all violating the homie shoe shine. Show some respect. Put some respect on shoe name, man. Word the mother. We ain't even gonna proceed, man, till y'all smash that like button. Put some motherfucking respect on shoe shine name. Get them likes up. 
It's 28 of y'all in here. I want to see 28 likes, man. Y'all niggas is violating, homie. Whoa. I ain't been riding y'all niggas about likes, but we gonna, I'm going to ride y'all niggas tonight. Y'all going to act right. Straight jacket. Y'all going to act right for the homie. Y'all ain't going to do that. Leave, look, see your Ebron, what's popping? I'm trying to get these motherfuckers to pay some respect. See, that's the problem with y'all motherfuckers. Y'all don't, y'all don't, y'all have no respect, man. Whoa. Y'all need some respect, man. Smash the like button. Act like y'all know. Two Shams a fucking legend. Act like y'all know. And I should be the only nigga on YouTube doing the story. I should be the only motherfucker here doing the story on the home. That's real talk. And like I was saying, I remember we in Marcy Pool, and it was one dude, he stood out the most, because he was the shortest dude. I'll never forget, he was the shortest fucking dude. He had on a red silk shirt, i never forget. So you remember, I'm talking 84, 85, something. Now you all, you had on a silk shirt back then, you was saying something. You understand what I'm saying? You had on a silk shirt back then. You were saying something. So this little motherfucker, he got on a silk shirt. But the one thing I remember the most, he had a chain on his neck. And if you from Marcy, man, you remember this shit. Shoe had a chain with a big S on it. Back then, I was a little nigga, so it looked big to me. But if you remember, man, Shoe had a chain with an S on it. So that shit stood out. So niggas is like, yo, that shoe shine. Yo, that shoe shine. So we like, oh shit, we little niggas now. Now I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Back then it was two motherfuckers' name that was ringing bells back on that side of the stop. When I say on that side of the stop, I'm talking Marcy, Sumner, Tompkins, and even Red Hook, for that matter. I mean Roosevelt, for that matter. It was two dudes' names that stood out as far as the young niggas was concerned. And that was Shushan and Little John. Shout out LJ. Hold your head. LJ can't get a break, man. LJ the big homie. LJ is the big homie, man. LJ can't get a break. Free Little John. Real talk. It was two motherfuckers' names that rung bells. Little John and Shushan. Now, I knew Little John. I had the opportunity and the privilege of knowing who Little John was when I was a shorty because he had the cousins that lived down the hall from me. So Little John just come through doing what he do. I knew him up close and personal. I didn't know who Shushan was, but I seen him. I'm like, so now I'm like an artist, nigga. That's what I want to tell y'all, man. I always tell y'all. I'm always the youngest motherfucker rap. But Shu wasn't no young nigga, man. Shu was an OG. Shu was an OG, man, for years. Real talk. Playing adolescent. Shu was an OG. So now, I got my first visual of Shu. I know what Shu looked like. His name ringing bells like 6 o'clock. Little nigga in the style. So now, the years go by. Shout out to the Smith family, man. Marcy's finest, man. Shout out to Sean Smith. That's the big homie. That's the homie. Word. And it, back in the days when we was kids, <laughs> Shushan, there was rumored Shushan used to have, used to like Boo. Now, Boo, that's what Tayshawn is. So everybody went through their phase having a crush on Boo. Everybody had a crush on Boo. Shoe, <laughs> Mo Dog. Peanut and even fruit. But I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I ain't have a crush on her till Shushan was out the picture. Cause Shushan name was ringing bells. <laughs> Everybody else who even stomp, pretty boy stomp. Everybody who had a crush on Boo was, was running from that nigga shoot. <laughs> I ain't I ain't have a crush on her to after everybody had a crush on her. <laughs> Work the bug. What? Shushan? You, 
crazy. Real talk. Shout out to Sean Smith, the homie's boo. That's the homie. Yeah, man. And um, so now you, that's like 86, 87 before the juvenile bit. Now, I never did no juvenile shit with Shoeshine. I heard the homie Ron do, shout out my twin. I heard him speak lovely of him and Shoe and Juvenile. I never crossed Shoe and Juvenile. Even, even twin, twin older than me. Ron do older than me. All them dudes is older than me. You know what I'm saying? So, I never did the DFY shit with them niggas. When I first touched the full building in 90, I was wounded. You know what I'm saying? I told a story on St. Glad. I was wounded. But Shoe and the niggas was running around the building doing what they do. Shoe put that work in. Yo, hook off, you know what it is. Shoe put that work in, so his name was ringing crazy in the full building. How he did shoot hook off. You know what I'm saying? That shit was like phenomenal, man. I hate to even talk about it because hook off is the homie. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Like I said, Shoe Shine was a Brooklyn king. He was a bed style legend, and he was a guard on Marcy. So I ain't going to hold nothing back. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, shoe, shoe shook the full building up, 90. Names ringing bells, crazy. I came through now and won. Shoe wasn't in the full building. I go home. Shoe was up north, because when I went home from the sixth building, Shoe came home. We was in the street together, but we didn't cross paths. I ended up going back to jail. When I was in the full building, Shoe came back. We in the full building together, 9-2. 9-2, two. <laughs> Shoe plays adolescent. Now, I'm up in full upper. It's me, Heck, and Mick, the boys. We up in full upper chill. They bring this nigga Shoe Shine up in the A&B gate. We see the nigga, we like, yo, this nigga still playing adolescent? So we like, yo, son, what up? He like, yo, don't blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> niggas like, yo, what's poppin'? So he like, yo, what's three of y'all niggas up here with that phone? We like, yeah. Yo, Shoe ain't even coming to the house. Shoe told the police, yo, I won't go downstairs. <laughs> he was like, yo, son. He like, nah, I got a Jones. I got a Jones. He told us straight up, yo, I got a Jones. Shoe went downstairs to fall, man, took the jack, and that was a wrap. <laughs> Word the mother. That's why when I tell you the stories about the boys, you know what I'm saying? Jerry's 525. Peace. Salute. Yes. Rest in peace, the legendary shoe shine from Marcy Projects. In fact, I, I ain't got my phone, man. I gotta hit Lakey up, man. I know Lakey heard the news. Speaking of Lakey, that Queens Bridge Part 2 will be coming in the new year. It will be coming in the new year, 2023, part two, Queens Bridge. Y'all know what it is. But yeah, so Shoe told the police straight up, yo, I'm going downstairs, man. Shoe went down there and took the jack. <laughs> and that was the end of that shit. So Shoe rocked out for main for months and months and months. So when we was running wild in the hallways as the boys, we was all coming out of full upward. But Shoe, <laughs> Shoe was coming out of full main, Dolo. Shoe wasn't sharing that motherfucker jack. <laughs> Shoe had a jit on. Word the mother. Shoe had a Jones. Word. Yo, you wanna hear some ill shit, right? Rest in peace, China. AKA my Dukes. Listen, everybody know when China came through C74, he was shadow, little man. Shadow took it like a tune. And that was, you know, he had the red carpet fucking with Shadow. He put that work in, though. He put that work in. But on the strip of Shadow, he was family. But little do dudes know, Shoe took a liking to China, too, man. And it's ill that they up there together, man. China, it ain't been 60 days, and now him and Shoe together, that's ill. Yeah, B.O. was his little bro, man. Shout out to bro B.O. Y'all need to lift B.O. up right now. I know he feeling it. You know what I'm saying? That was his little bro. Matter of fact, when they came through the full building, they was Cody Phillips. <laughs> that was shoot Cody Phillips. Where was the mother? 
I think they came through on a midtown beat. <laughs> P.O. dug a pocket, him and shoe got knocked, some shit like that. <clears throat> yeah, man. Yeah, man, it's ill. Him and China up there together. World. Him and China up there together, man. Yo, y'all tell heck I said, what's up? That's my guy. Rest in peace, big belly man in heck. That's my guy. But yeah, Shu took a liking to China. He took a liking to China so much that I told y'all when them boys moved on China up there and in, 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 in up a little marquee and them niggas, them niggas robbed China. China ain't never forget that shit. He blew Marky face off in front of the police in the script fresh room. But it was another nigga with Marky that nigga wrote. Yeah, I'm putting it out there, shut. We're going to put some respect on shoe name tonight. Yeah, nigga. We're going to put some respect on it. That nigga wrote. Roe was running with that, that nigga Marky. Roe got away. China ain't never get that nigga wrote. They opened that motherfucking big yard. I don't know what the fuck they was thinking. Oh, on the big yard. What? They opened in the big yard. Man, the first motherfucking cutting that took place. I don't even think it happened in the big yard. Did they make it to the big yard? Yo, Black Cobb, you watching this, man? Hit me up. Because Cobb, remember that shit. Did they make it out there? Did he blow that nigga face off on the way to the yard? Or, or back? On the way coming back? Yo, shoot blue flames out that nigga rope. <laughs> Yo, he wigged that nigga. He wigged that nigga, son. Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all, I'm putting it out there, son. I ain't playing with these niggas no more. It's we going into 2023, and I'm getting geared up for you, Blanco. Cause when I, when you, when you sit me down and you interview me, I'ma give it up, son. I ain't holding no punches no more with these niggas. Fuck that. But yeah, man, he blew flames out that nigga rope. <laughs> Word, that shit was serious. Yeah, man. Yeah, she was one of the niggas in four, but he ain't really had to do much. Not when he was not there, 9293. The C70 Fruit era, nah. The homie ain't have to do much. He was an OG, OG, a triple OG then. You know what I'm saying? I had to keep an eye on that nigga, though. Them LG niggas, them niggas pulled out pistols on shoe downtown in the mall. Shoe came through four, but he let me know, yo, man, little niggas, you know, projects. I'm like, yo, shoe, chill. Ah, ah. He's like, man, I'm gonna kill them niggas when I go home. Them niggas came to death. I had to beg shoe, please don't do nothing to them niggas, man. Nah. Because them niggas ain't want that smoke, shine. Them niggas was not built for that shit. Them niggas was not jail, niggas. Them niggas was not seasoned. None of that shit. Them niggas was shaking in their boots. Doc, you remember that shit, Popsy? Man, I had to beg that nigga not to hurt none of y'all niggas, man. And like a G, he kept his word. And like a G, he kept his word, son. He bit that bullet, son. Y'all niggas pulled out pistols on shoe round town in the mall. He ain't like that shit. <laughs> Where's the mother? He ain't like that shit at all. Yeah, man. My memories of shoe shine, boy. Yeah, man. We all got kicked out the full villain. I was up at HDMB with the niggas for a little minute, me. Shoe shine, rest in peace. Germ, my boy Twin out the Bronx, uh, uh, Puerto Rican Pete Rock out the Bronx. They had the whole fucking four villain in the one A adult bang. We was all adolescents. All them niggas came from different buildings. As soon as they got to the dose, the niggas all blew something. The niggas all in the dose, but I came from upstairs, downstairs rather. I was downstairs with the adolescents. Them niggas sung me happy birthday on a Sunday and moved my ass. As soon as I turned 19, they ain't even let me wait till Monday morning. They was like, nah, nigga, you leaving now. Sent me upstairs with shoe and shit. Yeah, that was the last time I seen shoe physically. HGMB, 1993 summer. Word. Stayed in contact, though, through all the years. I was really in tune with him when Hammond Mano was the governor in Elmira. Back in like, that was 9 5, 9 4, 9 5. Then I just was hearing about shoe, man, catching fizz left and right. Where the mother? Rest up, shoe, no question. 
I was hearing about shooting, catching bears left and right, all type of shit. Caught a fan beef, you know what I'm saying? Whole home turf doing some money one time. Oh, I was hearing all types of rumors and shit. Sh shout out to homie turf. I know we in the selling shit going through it. We lost them turf. We lost the good one. We lost the home shoot shine turf. Them niggas ring name ring bells like six o'clock in Marcy, son. Those the homies. Worth the mother. Jay-Z this, Jay-Z that. Shoe shine turf. Them niggas is legends out there, son. I'm proud to say them niggas my homeboy. Mark, them niggas is legends out there in Marcy. Real talk. Word. Yeah, man, I'm talking about Shoe just doing mad bitch. <laughs> shoe just stayed in jail. Yo, Shoe locked up. Yo, Shoe locked up. Yo, Shoe locked up. Word. That's my guy, man. Word. Memories of fucking shoe shine, man. Word. That was my fucking guy. <laughs> Word. Shoes wearing finny jeans at 9 2. <laughs> Word. Heck, you should be like, yo, why your pants so tight? Shoe used to have the finny guest jeans with his leather gloves in his back pocket. But he put his gloves on and fucking it up. <laughs> Heck, you be like, yo, why your pants so tight? He should be like, my pants ain't tight. My sister's fitted. <laughs> shoe. Fucking shoe shine, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was the homie. That was the fucking homie, man. And life is short. Life is real fucking short. You know what I'm saying? I was on the phone with Dog today, man. Life is too fucking short. I had to apologize for my behavior. I'm acting like a fucking idiot on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Fucking with these clowns, bickering. Shoe told me one day, yo, nigga, you forgot who the fuck you is. Word, he told me just like that. You forgot who the fuck you is, nigga, you bugging the fuck out. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, Shoe had his foot in my ass about that shit. C.O.D. Vaughn, yes, they did, you was a problem. They said you had to go, they couldn't wait till you turned 19. You had security checking your floor card. <laughs> yeah, man, them bitches got, yo, they sung me happy birthday. On a Sunday, my birthday was June 13th, 1993. And if you check the calendar, that's a fucking Sunday, man. You go back. Them niggas showed me happy birthday on a Sunday and got me the fuck out of there. <laughs> Word up. You fucking shoe shine with a little three teeth. Yo, we ain't the mother, man. Word the mother. Yo, you know what's a legendary story about shoe shine? I always heard. Y'all heard? 19, what, early 80s back when he was a little nigga with the gold chain. I think a nigga cut shoe shine in the, in, the, in the USA skating ring. That's Brooklyn history, right? If I'm not mistaken, I don't want to be on here capping. I want to be on here putting respect on his name. If I'm not mistaken, that's Brooklyn history. Shoe shine got scratched in USA skating ring back in like 84, 85, some shit Brooklyn. You know you can't take Brooklyn niggas nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Brooklyn niggas tore down the skate ring. I think a nigga scratched shoe shine and that was Brooklyn history. I'ma have to I'ma have to um I'm gonna have to get in the mental road with Dex and make some phone calls because I don't like a cat. Calendar. Let me see if the motherfucker go back to 2003. 1993, rather. I'm checking right now because I don't wanna be capping. 1993, June, yup, my birthday, June 13th, 1993 was a motherfucking Sunday, I ain't capping, the motherfucker sung happy birthday to me on a Sunday, son, and said, pack your shit, I was like, yo, tomorrow, Monday, they're like, nah, then we moving now, <laughs> real talk, I just verified that on the motherfucking calendar. Yeah, shoe shine, man. Shoe was that dude. Shoe was that dude, son. Word. Shoe was that dude. And it's a lot of motherfuckers, man. Y'all probably watching, or y'all probably gonna go in the motherfucking comments out of the late date, man. I know shoe put pain on a lot of niggas, man. Don't be disrespectful because he, he was a victim of his jail shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. 
that ain't cool. Take it like a man. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? These YouTube streets is nasty, and I don't need y'all niggas disrespecting the OG. That wouldn't be nice. That wouldn't be nice at all. Yeah, man, I ain't had no plans on getting on here tonight, son. I took my wife to the movie. I was very disrespectful to her on social media. Checking on shoe shine. They give shit was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? I owe her an apology. Word. Shit was just crazy. You know, they say, yo, it was a good year. I look, I, you know, the other day I was posting all my stats and shit for YouTube. I was feeling good. Like, yeah, less than six months I had a good year on YouTube. The fucking reality of it is I had a fucking miserable year on fucking YouTube. It started out good. Look how that LG shit ended. Mikey and them niggas pulled some bullshit on me. Sided with my motherfucking ops. Lied on me and my motherfucking wife. Nigga had a who I thought was my motherfucking brother. He all in the middle of that shit. See how that shit started to play out? Motherfuckers all on YouTube. Fruit did this, fruit did that. Making CNN videos about a nigga. Screaming my name. Shit crazy, son. Bickering with my big bros. Losing my big bro. Nah. Nah, it ain't been a good motherfucking year. And all this shit was on YouTube for y'all to see, man. Nah, 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 nah. It ain't been a good motherfucking year for the kids, man. If you think it was a good year, man, 2023 gonna be a fucking movie. It's gonna be a fucking movie, son. I'm gonna turn all this shit up. I'm going to turn all this shit up. In memory of shoe. I'm going to turn all this shit up. He got my word. I'm going to turn all this shit up. Because he told me, nigga, you forgot who the fuck you is, man. You bugging the fuck out. Arguing with niggas on computers. I just want to watch the show. That's what he used to tell me. I thought you was going to be Arsenio. He said, you turning into a WWE fighter. Leave that shit alone. I kid you not, that's what the motherfucker told me, man. So I'm going to keep doing what I do because he believed in me, son. He told me, yo, what the fuck? I thought you was going to be Arsenio. I flipped it the other night, though, shoot. Them niggas called me the Trauma King. Yeah, they called me Lil' K Slick. So I think Arsenio is going to have to take a back seat. <laughs> they calling me Lil' K Slick, and I ain't never been little no motherfucker body. But I'm going to wear that for K Slick. Rest in peace, K. Slick. Yeah, man, they calling me the Trauma King. Not the Drama King, the Trauma King. So that's what I'm going to do, man. I'm going to turn my motherfucking YouTube channel up. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to do what I do. Real talk. I'm going to do what the fuck I do. And the haters going to keep hating. And, and this is the thing. This is the funny shit. I ain't here for no money. I don't get paid for this shit. I don't own this music I be playing. I can't get paid. Everybody chasing fruit. I ain't chasing fucking views and likes. I ain't doing that, but y'all gonna put some respect on shoe name and night. That's what y'all gonna do. Because it's only 35 likes on this motherfucker. There's 63 of y'all here. Y'all some disrespectful motherfuckers. That's why I don't fuck with y'all. Hell no, son, but they gonna put some respect on Shoeshine name, son. These niggas is crazy. Shoeshine was the ghost-like figure of YouTube. Shoeshine was a ghost-like figure in C74, man. Y'all niggas need to pay y'all respects, man. All y'all niggas need to pay y'all respects. It's sad that y'all won't pay y'all respects, man. That shit's sad, son. Y'all some disrespectful motherfuckers. Not just being nosy. Or here to jack my swag and give it to another nigga. But them other niggas can't tell you they knew shoe shot. 
See, that's where you go wrong. Ain't no cap in here. Ain't no motherfucking cap in here, baby. None. That was the big homie. That was the big homie. That was the big homie, Sean. Word. Yeah, that was the big homie, Sean. We gonna miss you, show. Word. Word the mother. We gonna miss you, kid. Oh, we gonna miss you. We gonna see you one last time, though. We gonna see you. We gonna see you, baby. We gonna send you off right, too. Word, son. Yeah, man. Rest in peace, you shine, man. That was the big homie. Word the mother. That was the big fucking homie. Word. Shout out. Shout out his baby mothers, his kids, everybody, man. Shout out the whole fucking Marcy Projects. Y'all lost a good one, man. I know y'all feeling it out there. Shout out Mailbox, Daquan, the homies. <clears throat> yeah, man, I know. I, yeah, yeah, every year you was in the building, he had that shit shaking, huh? 919293. Yeah, man. Shoe shine that dude. And that's why I stayed on St. Laz, man. When that Rack and Silent shit first came up on St. Laz, I was like, yo, don't get caught up in that legendary fruit, C70 fruit shit. I had niggas in the building that was letting me be fruit. And Shoeshine was one of them. Shoeshine was one of them. He let me, like, he ain't challenged me. None of that shit. He let me do what the fuck I wanted to do because I was the homie. I knew that. That was the big homie, son. Or the mother. That was the home. That was the homie. He was a real one, son. Ten toes down. Straight jacket, man. Marcy lost a real one, son. Yeah, 2022 was shitty, man. But we gonna we gonna get this shit right for 2023. All this shit gonna get changed up. We're gonna do some things, man. We're gonna do some things, man. Shoot, you got my word on that, son. I'm gonna do some things, man. Listen, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. It's a Sunday night. I ain't expect to be here. I'm still trying to catch some Sunday night football. I got to get some rest. Go to work tomorrow. <sighs> I'm going to just wrap this one up, man. Yeah, 2023 going to be a movie. So, G, Sonny Blanco, you already know that. You know what I'm saying? You already know that. So, it's your boy, Big Fruit. Signing off on the Real Big Fruit Podcast. And I'm going to say rest in peace, shoot shot. We love you. And we always will. Salutes, John. Real talk. I'm up out of here, man. Y'all rest easy. Y'all be safe. And remember, Brooklyn keeps on taking it.